We're heading to deer camp. We're heading west, out to my wife's family's cabin. We're going to go do some muzzleloader hunting out there. This season is by far my favorite season. There's normally less pressure. The leaves are normally vibrant and beautiful. And it's just a great time to be in the woods. Good temps. Not so much this week. It's supposed to be in the 80s. But we're going to make do with what we got. We're going to have a good time doing it. And for the most part, I'm really only concerned about just enjoying the scenery. If I get one, I get one. And if I don't, I'm not going to get too upset about it. But there will be gunshots involved. I can guarantee you that. It is opening morning of muscle odor season. It's about 10 after 7. I'm kind of shocked I haven't heard a shot yet. We're hunting this uh, fresh clear cut. I think it's uh, one year old or two years old. And uh, I've been running cameras here all summer with pretty good success. But as of late, there's more coyote than anything. So we might be seeing how a coyote handles a 50 cal muzzle loader today. So I'm gonna sit back, watch the sunrise. Wait for a deer or a coyote. It's 7.45. I just heard the first shot of the morning back near the truck. Go figure. Been pretty quiet all morning. Not like any shooting. That was the first like somewhat close shot all day. I don't know if because they changed the laws with being able to bear hunt too. It's just not a lot of people are coming out for the, uh, the opener at the camps and stuff, but. I'm gonna work up on uh, packing things up here. Go warm up, get some coffee, lunch. I'm probably gonna come back here tonight. Because I do have pretty good scouting done on this area. I honestly thought there'd be more people out today. I really did. Not seeing a single person. It was crazy. Well, good morning. It's Monday morning, <clears throat> second day of muzzleloader season. Yesterday we did some scouting in the evening and found some really good sign. So that's where we're headed today. We're gonna go 
put a pipeline and some cut fields for first thing in the morning. Just, there's a good chance there's going to be deer out in the fields. You never know. We seen some in there last night and they seem pretty much unpressured. It's going to be hot today. I think they're calling for 80 degrees. So in the afternoon, I found a pond in basically the middle of the woods. And when it's hot, these deer got to drink water and as dry as it is right now, there's not like there's seasonal creeks or anything around for these deer to drink. That might be a lot of the deer's primary water source is this pond. There was two deer at it last night when I, when I went there. And uh, I think it's only going to get better today because it's supposed to be almost 80 out here. So for the morning, I, I didn't want to push in, in there in the morning in the dark and basically blow the deer out. So we're going to go hunt this pipeline in the morning, see if we can see any deer in the pipeline, maybe make a move on them. We're just going to hunt on the ground, try to be as mobile as possible. And yeah, hopefully it's a good day. Well, the fields didn't pan out this morning like we had hoped. <coughs> so I'm gonna sit and watch this power line. It's thick, it's nasty, and there's oak trees that run along it. So provided that there's acorns on the oak trees, honestly, I'm more, I have more faith in this afternoon than I do this morning, so. when you think deer are coming your way. It's a bunch of damn gobblers. I had to record them on my phone. There was no way I was going to get the camera over there. It's 4.15. I seen those deer here last night at 6. So, hopefully, I feel bad not getting much deer action on camera for you guys. It's not like it's for lack of scouting. It's scouted here all summer. Actually, I think I scouted since Easter here. Fortunately, there's not much I can do with the poor weather either. Seeing everything but deer. <laughs> you can't make that up. I thought that was a damn deer. I 
that's for sure because it took off a hurting. All right, let's get wrapped up, boys, and uh, let's go find impact. I think that's the best thing. We'll go find impact. And uh, I seen her barreling down through for a little ways. I don't know if she jumped over the road, the the trail. I guess I should say. I'm not sure. Hey, welcome yeah. to the club. Yep. He's I was up there. I about trip on the thing. Where'd you shoot at? Over there. I just rode my bike right through here. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't see it. Flies are on it already, too. Yeah. Well, thanks for the help. <laughs> Let me get my knife and stuff. Hey, you want the deer? <laughs> hey, rear view mirrors on this. <laughs> well, big shout out to Dunny and Justin for coming to help me out. I gotta get the bike loaded up. Unfortunately, that deer was on the small side. My mistake. I'm man enough to show it on camera. I'll own up to it. Should have let it walk. But you live and learn. Still gonna eat it. So. So this is where I start having audio issues. After loading the bike up, I headed back to go see where Denny and Justin were. And while I was sitting there, I heard a gunshot. Lo and behold, Justin had just shot a deer. That's basically what I'm talking about right now on the camera. But the camera decided to not record any audio. So, yeah. Sorry about that, but we're going to go find Justin's deer now. Nope. Oh my gosh, dude. What? It's a cow. I think that other one in the first field was bigger. Yeah. Right. Perfect shot. Yep. No exit, though. She must have been down further because there's a good blood trail coming down through here. Yeah, that's freaking right. Bullseye. Somewhere right in here. So, yeah, we doubled up last night. I shot a little deer. Justin shot a behemoth. And uh, that was the last video clip that I recorded because we had to get the hell out of there to get to the butcher as quickly as possible because he was getting ready to close. And I didn't want to keep him waiting. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, peace.